Go now, now, go now. Go now, now, go now. Live your life. 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 I started hanging out with Ray M. Langer. Because if I didn't, I feel like I would just be bored all the time. We started hanging out uptown, causing mischief, asking people stupid questions, annoying them. Her best friend Ricky Cruz got into that with us too. It was pretty fun. I felt so alive. I told both of them that I had this vision of myself to give myself pink hair, purple lipstick, and then a gorgeous blue and black smoky eyeshadow. Ray Ann told me to go for it. So I did. My mom wasn't too on board with the idea at first. So it is you. Do you like the pink? I've been thinking about this for a while and this is just something I've always wanted to do. Pink hair, fierce makeup. It's just how I want to live. I can see it now. Wow parties, social world, uh, Insta who's it. My dad always thought that everyone was having more fun than he was. Which was true. Well, at least with a look like that, We'll be able to spot you in a crowd. Hey, Angela, Ricky wants to... Oh, what's up, fam? I like your house. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Who are you? <laughs> this is Rayanne and Ricky. Okay. Well, there is, uh, cheese and drinks in the, um, the fridge. <laughs> yes, thank you. And then Danielle, my little sister, she chimed in a little bit. I never dye my hair pink, but I kind of do. But... We just ignore her most of the time. Well, we are gonna have to be taking Danielle to Girl Scouts here in a little bit. Do you think uh, Angela could spend the night at my place? It'd be like a sleepover. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Yes, okay, my cousin can drive us. Well, <laughs> That's reassuring. Can I go with Angela, please? Oh, come on, Mom. It'll be fine. Yeah, there's nothing to worry about. I live in a back alley, and I rely on my wits. <laughs> Just kidding. I, I live with my mom. She, she, she'll be there. Hey, if she wants to spend time with her new friends, she should be allowed to. <sighs> I'd much rather go with Angela than go to Girl Scouts. This guy looks responsible enough. I mean, 
Angela isn't gonna be our little girl forever, and that's something even I'm trying to overcome. You know what? Fine. Do what you want. We have to get going. Okay, if you need anything, please, please call your uncle, okay? We love you. Fine. Bye. Well, they seem to take that pretty well. Yeah, cause you guys were here. Okay, Ange, let's cut the crap. I know you want him. Who? Who? Jordan? Leto? I see how you look at him. <laughs> Jordan. Jordan Leto. He was a year above me with Ray Ann and Ricky. But he was held back at least twice. He leans pretty well. Well, <laughs> where we're actually going, Jordan is going to be there. Wait, really? Oh, it's Sharon. With my look changed, so did a whole bunch of other things. Hey, Sharon. Like, how your best friend, who you've known for so long. Angela, I cannot believe you would do that to your hair and what's with the makeup? Starts criticizing you for it. I just want to try different things, okay? That's what... That's just what I should do. Just live my life. You think after all these years, she'd be... happy for you. But... she isn't. And hanging out with Rayan? Of all people, Ray Ann, you're gonna hang out with her now? <laughs> and not to mention, you walked out on yearbook. That was our thing, Ange, our thing. Sharon, I really don't owe you an explanation, okay? If I don't wanna do yearbook anymore, I just don't wanna do it anymore. You don't have to lay into me like that, jeez. You're with her right now, aren't ya? Maybe I am, maybe I'm not. What's it to you? She's bad news, Angela. <sighs> Whatever, Sharon. <sighs> Bye. <sighs> Should we go get ready now? Come on, Ange. Jordan's waiting. This is gonna be sick. Angela? Where are you going dressed like that? On our way out, we ran into... Brian Gummersall. My next door neighbor, and also another best friend of mine. None of your business, Gummersall. Are you... up to something? Earlier that day, he had tried to take my picture for your book, before I walked out. Why do you care? Angela, you coming? Lately, he's just been a little more annoying. More so than usual. You're not doing anything illegal, are you? Whatever. But that's just Brian. Stay safe, okay? This looks like a lot of fun. So, how long have you been hanging around with uh, Rayanne? I've been friends with Rayanne for about a week now. I've known her for a couple years. She's pretty cool. Can you believe it, Angela? We're actually here. Time to let loose. 
I think you've had too much to drink already, Rayanne. I mean, I don't think it was a good idea for you to bring your flask along and drink on the way here. Oh, don't be silly, Angela. I'll be fine. I'm gonna talk to those cute guys over there. Hey there! Hey, beautiful. Looks like you've been drinking too much. You wanna come back to my place? Angela, we have to go help her. <laughs> hey, no. No. I couldn't believe what was happening to Rayanne. This creep was just putting his hands all over her, taking advantage of her. Oh no, Jordan. To see something like that actually happen? Oh shit. Rayanne, come on, let's go. It made me sick. I can take care of myself, Angela. Rayanne, we have to go now. Oh shit, it's the cops. Come on, we gotta get back to my car. Oh shit. Jordan drove Rayanne and Ricky back to her place. Ricky said he would take care of Rayanne. I trust him. He's a good kid. And then... Jordan gave me a ride home. We didn't talk at all. It was silent. Awkwardly silent. Like there was tension. But for what? It just seems like... Talking would... Ruin the mood. If there was a mood. Angela, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Um, Angela, I, I think I should see this. What is it, Gumrasol? Here. <sighs> is that my dad? Who's that woman he's talking to? Thought... Thought he was with my mom and Danielle at Girl Scouts. Thanks. Here's a phone back. I... Don't know. Um... I couldn't make out what they were saying. Are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'll be okay. Did you have fun? Was it a good time? Yeah, I had fun. It was a great time. Thanks. I'm glad. Talk to you later. I'll see you around, Brian. I later apologized to my mom for changing my hair, but she said it was okay. She knew that I had to live my life the way I wanted to. I actually fell asleep. Just resting my head on her shoulder. Because I felt at peace to be in her presence again. Like she wasn't trying to control me anymore like she had been. On Monday. <laughs> Everyone was asking me, Jordan, Rayanne, Ricky, about everything that had happened at that party. Rayanne may, may have embellished a little bit, but everything seemed fine, except me and Sharon weren't talking. I hope that can change. We all change.
that's okay. <laughs>